Hi, my name is Yuka Koshibata and I'm an artist. I'm a painter and a sculptor and I paint on my sculpture. That makes me a um, painter-sculptor hybrid. And today I'd be showing you some uh, techniques for sunset and sunrise theme painting. The material we need for this workshop is a um, palette and a paint and something to paint on. In my case I prepared a cardboard, just primed, and a brush and palette knife, an extra white paint and water um, and a spray. Um, I use this a lot because acrylic paint dry very quickly and uh, glazing a medium, I already dilute it, ready to use. Um, pretty much that's all we need for this workshop. And uh, what we are doing in this workshop is, um, I sh I'll be showing you some techniques um, which is useful for these paintings. Gradation from light to dark, white, using a white wash, so white to color. And the second one is a two-tone gradation, one color to another. And lastly, the same similar technique, but um, using a circle in the middle and then gradate to a darker tone. So I'll be showing you these three techniques. Okay, so um, let's do, let's start with white to colour and let me just think I so first I need a lot of white so so I'd be making a gradation using white to green. I already have some blue on my palette. So it will be a slightly mixture and so when you do gradation you need to make um, paint quite diluted. My white paint is already diluted but I add some spray. Doesn't matter so much if you, whether you start from top to bottom but I will start from the top and uh, first you put a plenty of uh, white and with this technique you need to add colour gradually and you need just a little bit and as you can see I think this is already too dark so it's useful when you are painting to have some paper next to you so that you can just test it. I would say something like that. Oops, I had too much. And another thing is um, sometimes it's useful to have a two brush. So this brush is already mixed with a green colour, so I keep this brush as a lighter tone. And then bit by bit you add colour. It's not very smooth, but you can always adjust later. It's very rough, but that is the basic. So start from white and then gradually adding little by little more color and gradate. I must say it's not most successful gradation, but that's fast technique. 
There you are. So that's white to dark whitewash technique. And second one is two tone. Okay. So let's use. Oh, you have to. With this, you have to keep your brush clean, otherwise the uh, gradation will be muddy. So I normally have a two water jar and dirty water and the second one you can really remove the colour. Okay, so let's use a typical sky colour maybe, so purple to pink maybe. Okay, so I'm going to bring some purple here. Okay. Okay. And I always have some extra white as well. Okay, so start from, let's start from pink. Amount of water you just know by experience. Um, from, everybody has a different preference, but I like using a quite loose paint. So start with a uh, pink color. you want to gradate so I just started with already quite pale pink but I will probably go back to bring a little darker tone so I'm just adding so go back to the edge make it a little darker and then use the second one oops that was too watery okay and then add more white so before I start adding a purple, I make it quite light, otherwise um, the middle bit is going to be too muddy. Although pink and purple doesn't, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful colour to be merged anyway, but uh, make it slightly lighter. Okay, so that's already dark to light gradation here. And then now I'm going to introduce purple. And now I will start with quite light purple. So use a lot of white. And check your color. And I think that's probably too dark. So I add something like that and start while it's still wet. Key for gradation is uh, you work on wet on wet and uh, so you sort of manage to combine this pink and purple and same as the earlier technique just gradually add the color more color and then you can go much darker now and if you create this big jump then you can always add a bit more white and here you need to check and it might be useful to use second brush as well. Okay, okay so that's quite quick two-tone painting from pink to purple. Okay, now let's move on to third one, uh, which is gradation, but uh, almost like a sun in the middle. So circular shaped gradation. Technique is the same thing pretty much, but um, the circle, painting a circle is surprisingly quite difficult and uh, simple thing is it's something that looks so easy um, 
it's not so easy. So I'm not confident if I can get it right. <laughs> right, okay, what color shall we use? Uh, maybe yellow, yellow in the middle, maybe gradate to orange. I think that's what I'm doing. More palette. I use a lot of palette. <laughs> I have a basic color, but I have a lot of little palette. So it's my way. Everybody have a different way, but it's I like keeping a color pure. So this is why I use this way. So circle some is yellow. So basically, in my case, I paint circle in the middle first. Okay. First. It doesn't have to be circle, you might want to do distorted, more oval shape, but in this exercise. Okay, I'm painting this bigger, this sum bigger than I need because I want to, it's, it's useful to make the surface wet before I introduce orange. So, okay, so that's, that's first color. And then um, my background is going to be orange. So again, I add orange into yellow. So, um, so that it's going to be gentle gradation. So you have to work quite quickly. Still, while the yellow center is still wet, you paint, paint around the circle and try to keep circle, circle. <laughs> and particularly this one, you probably cannot do in one go, you probably have to paint once and then let it dry and come back, paint again. But this is first layer, at least that you can see, you can see roughly what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, so as we go towards the edge, it gets darker. Let me just put masking tape at the bottom so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. It's a useful little technique. Okay, now I sort of finished, but I'm going back to the center because this gradation is not very gradual. <laughs> and uh, the circle was too big, so I want to make it smaller and more subtle. I even add a little bit a little bit more white in the middle. So it's it is sort of a gradation, but I'm not very happy with the edge, so I will go back to the edge. Um, but as I said might have to paint again when it's dry, but it's sort of working. So let's just finish our first layer. Okay. Okay, it's sort of working. <laughs> 
So this is circular shaped gradation, yellow to orange. So that's the end of the demonstration. Okay, now you've got couple of techniques. So if you have more time, perhaps you can do something like this, which is figurative painting, the sunset sun nice, or this is what I like to do, um, abstract painting and uh, using the uh, same technique but layering, make it more complex. So that's all for today and thank you so much for tuning in, hope you enjoyed it.